Welcome to Textimation. Joining us is Aisha Bo, the founder and CEO of a company called Stemboard. Thanks for joining us, Aisha. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, before we get into Stemboard and some of the cool things that you're doing there, give us some of your background because that is equally as interesting. <laughs> you know, I like to call myself the accidental rocket scientist. I started my degree in aerospace engineering with pre-algebra at a community college in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I wasn't somebody that ever thought that STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math would be a field for them. And as a result, I didn't think that I could find a love of engineering or tech. And when I stumbled upon this math class and I started to achieve, I realized that not only did I have an aptitude for the subject, but I wanted to spend the rest of my life engineering. And you've gone on, you did some work with NASA? Yeah, so I decided I was gonna become an aerospace engineer. I went to the University of Michigan and once I was there, I decided, hey, why not dream big? You never thought you could make it this far, so what's the biggest dream that you could have? And for me, it was going to work at NASA. And so I spent six years at NASA Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, California. I got a chance to work on miniaturized satellites about the size of a shoebox. And then I went into flight trajectory optimization algorithms for the commercial airspace system for several years before I founded Stemboard about seven years ago. So tell us about Stemboard, what do you do? When I was at NASA, I would go into classrooms and I would talk to students about engineering and they would look at me like I was crazy. Literally, they couldn't believe that I was an engineer, let alone a rocket scientist, and that what we were doing was so cool. And I found that I wanted to leave the organization and go and find a, found a company that did two things. One, that we supported really cool and complex engineering programs for enterprise organizations. And two, that we went out and we advocated for STEM careers. And so today, we not only manufacture commercial product in the coding kit called Lingo, which helps promote self-paced at-home learning of STEM concepts, but we also provide engineering consulting services for the federal government. That's awesome. So let's talk about Lingo and this kit. And you've told us about your, your motivation for it. What, what's in it? Describe it oh. for us. I don't know if you want to show it to us. Yeah, I actually... I have a lingo right here. So lingo came about because about three years ago, we were supporting tech camps with students in underrepresented areas. And we found out that they did not have labs. And so we would go in, we would have our workshop and we didn't have anything to leave behind. And so we decided to put together this kit of components that could allow the students to not only complete our activity, but continue to tinker after we were gone. And that became Lingo. The introductory lesson teaches the student how to build a backup sensor for an autonomous vehicle. And the best thing about it is we don't presume that the student is interested in math and science, nor understand how it connects to the world around them. And so through a series of self-paced online videos, we show how technology has nearly digitized every market vertical how the same concepts that they're learning in lingo not only tie to national learning standards, but represent themselves in fashion and art and in music. And we provide them with several easy to use booklets and supporting materials to complete the activity. So the first thing I like to say is, you'll notice the lingo booklet is about the size of my face. We did that in case the students wanted to share or if they had a parent that was interested in what they were doing. Every single page is extraordinarily detailed and walks the students step-by-step step through what they need to identify and how to put together the activity. But it also ties to the online video that is taught by Danielle Regis, a double degree from Cornell in computer science and also a woman of color. Inside the box, you have this huge components kit. And I love this, Fred, because once you're done with Lingo, I actually sometimes have a challenge putting this back together once I do the demos because there's so many components in here. So not only do you have the board and the wires that you need for the activity, but we have a whole host of sensors and other um, supporting elements that can allow the student to complete our lesson and then explore. 
The Lingo Box was so popular over the summer when we initially launched it that we went back and we created curriculum frameworks for teachers and for those at home school so that they can align our um, lesson with middle school and high school learning standards. And we added four more lessons. So not only do you build the initial backup sensor for the car, you explore variables, loops, conditions and logic, and power and voltage in the add-on content. Is it similar in a way to people who like to toy around with the things like the Raspberry Pi just toying around with? Yeah, it's very similar conceptually. One of the things that I observed was that many of these activities presume that you have some interest in them. And for many students, they would see a, a breadboard or they would see a wire and they would immediately say, hey, no, this, this isn't for me. And so the Lingo experience is really about showing and building confidence in a student's ability to tackle the material, as well as demonstrating that it's applicable not only to the field of engineering, but pretty much to anything that the student wants to do. While I would love to create more engineers and especially those in the aerospace field as we so much need them, I more want to encourage people to develop their analytical thinking process so they can solve challenging problems. Really terrific. So the age range this is intended for would be what? So I, okay. So this is actually a funny story that I love. On the box, we were told 13 plus. I started to get emails from 11 year olds that said, I finished my lingo. We can do it too. I love how the 13 under crowd felt the need to get online and to write me and show me that they were able to accomplish the box lesson as well. And so we had to go back and revise our guidance and say 13 plus without supervision, 11 and below with supervision. And the reason why this works is because we've tailored our curriculum frameworks to have different levels of difficulty when it comes to the questions. Most of the individuals who are in middle school will go through the lesson, but they may not necessarily do a deep dive into some of the coding concepts unless they're more advanced. We also have found that a lot of students are in freshman or sophomore year in college before they ever see any of these electrical concepts. And so we do have freshman and sophomore courses in university that are teaching the box as well. That's really okay. awesome. So tell me about pricing and availability. Uh, you've tried to price this in, in a way that makes it uh, within reach of a, a lot of people. Yeah, so our Lingo kit is $69.99. That includes the initial lesson in the self-paced videos. The educator's kit is actually on sale on Groupon now. And we did that because we wanted to try to make it as accessible as possible. And it includes 60 days of online webinar support. So you can hop online and we will support either you or your learner in constructing the kit. In addition, it also has the new packages that I mentioned, which are the educator pieces, because we wanted to put curriculum frameworks in the hands of not only teachers, but parents at home who may be looking for an activity to continue to stimulate learning while giving them a little bit of free time over the weekend. You know, you have all of this going and it's terrific. And then the pandemic hits. So tell me how you've been able to cope with, with you know, all of this really, upheaval. Yeah. And you know, it's really funny. Um, I created the box because of the pandemic before April lingo as a consumer product did not exist. It was something that we bundled into our workshops and we left for our large nonprofit organizations. And I started to look at some of the feedback from parents about their experiences with distance learning. And I said that, Hey, you know, I think that we all have a role to play in lending a hand. If I own an engineering company and if I have a tech team and if I have an ability to make a product, then I have a responsibility at this time to pitch in and to help out. And I think that's one of the, the gifts that my company is giving to the pandemic. We went through over a thousand boxes in 45 days to some of the places that needed it the most, simply because we wanted to leverage our technical experience in order to do so. And getting these out the door, you even had some help, I understand, from, from family. Yes. That's also a highlight of the pandemic. My mom, my mom is who we consider to be the lingo elf. 
she's amazing. And not because she had me. I mean, that's great too. But my mom prior to April was someone I spent a lot of time with, but she wasn't necessarily part of business operations. My mom is head of shipping and distribution at Lingo. She quality checks every box. She stuffs every box. She makes sure that it gets out. She follows up and she's really in tune with making sure that these boxes get to the students who need them. I'll tell you a funny story. We had Howard Middle School here pilot the Lingo boxes for a group of sixth grade boys. When we found out that the middle school, who's not too far from where I live, was in a drivable distance, my mom said, hey, refund that shipping, I'm driving this to the school. And she drove them over there and she met the principal and she thanked her for the business. And I just remember feeling so incredibly lucky that this was my experience during the pandemic, that not only could I, but my company and my family do something that we hope supports people in areas that they need. That's really amazing. <laughs> Tell me where you want to go from here with, with this. I mean, obviously you've got to be feeling so great with what you're doing with Lingo. Where do you, where do you want to take this? What I'm finding is that the reception to the initial lesson was so great that we've gone back and we've started developing more content. We're expanding to include other subjects. I'm very excited about the prospect of a Lingo space box, teaching basic aerospace concepts in a compact form factor that can go to houses all over the country. And I'm also excited about this idea of making labs and hardware exposure something that people get to experience at home. That had previously been a little bit out of reach for some of the non-affluent districts, but with the partnerships that we have, we're delivering this as well as the academic support needed to many students who had previously not had the opportunity to have that exposure. And lastly, I'm also very excited by the capacity building we've been able to do because in the same way that we are teaching students, we're also teaching the teachers. And so we have entire classrooms right now, which we're piloting about uh, five schools in Milwaukee on the Lingo Box. The teachers are coming to us and saying, hey, how can you help us learn this alongside our students in a way where next semester, we can pick this up and we can do it on our own. And so I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be a part of that and for the people who are willing to take a chance on the small company and really have been receptive to the box. That's really terrific. And uh, we want to congratulate you on all that you're doing there, Aisha. Tell, tell us where people can go for more information. Absolutely. You can go to www.stemlingo, S-T-E-M-L-I-N-G-O.com for more on the box. You can also go to Groupon and type in Lingo to receive our coding kit, complete with three lessons, all project-based learning modules, and three curriculum frameworks so that you can teach the box at home. And it's designed specifically for parents and homeschoolers. Again, and teachers too. Again, it's Lingo, L-I-N-G-O. Get the box. It's packed by Aisha's mom. Aisha Bo, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you so much.